find the point or points of intersection if they exist for the following lines and parabolas. So there are two questions. So this is question number A or question A and this is question B. Okay, so first let's look at the first question. We will do it first algebraically and then we will use a graphic calculator. We can also do this graphically but my focus is to do it algebraically. So here you've got y is equal to 2x plus 3 and y is equal to x minus 1 squared minus 3. So, so let me write the equation again. So y is equal to 2x plus 3 is one equation and the second equation which is the parabola is x minus 1 squared minus 3. Now for point of intersection for I'll write point of intersection uh, at the point of intersection they become equal okay so that's what it means so what is what what do I mean by that suppose let me explain this graphically say this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis and this is say your parabola it's not exactly this parabola and uh, say this is the line okay so the question is you want to find this point these if they're intersecting say these are the two points of intersection so at this point the y values and the x values are going to be equal that's what I mean so I can say this if y is equal to this and y is equal to this you can equate this with this so we can say well then at point of intersection the y values and x values are equal so x minus 1 the whole squared minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 3 so now you have to do a little of algebra you have to expand this first so this is x minus 1 times x minus 1 minus 3 I want to make this a quadratic equation so I'll, I'm taking away 2x and 3 from both sides so minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 okay so let's expand this so this is x squared this is minus x minus x is minus 2x plus 1 plus 1 and this is minus 2x minus 6. I hope you can see what I've done. This is negative 3, negative 3 is minus 6 or minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6. This is minus 2x here. So let's again simplify this a little more. So let me change color. So this is minus 2x, this is minus 2x. So this is plus 1 and this is minus 6. So this is this becomes x squared minus 4x minus 5. Am I right? Yeah, minus 5 equals 0. So to factorize this, I hope you know that. This is x minus 5 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. This implies x is equal to 5 or x is equal to negative 1. Okay, so now you can you need to find the y value to find the points of intersection. So when you can use this equation or this equation, we know y is equal to 2x plus 3. That's an easier equation. So I'm going to substitute phi here. So y, so x is equal to phi. We're going to put here. So this is y is equal to 2 times phi plus 2 times phi plus 3 which is 13. That means when x is 5, y is 13. We'll confirm this graphically. And when x is 1, or x should be negative 1, sorry. x is negative 1. When x is negative 1, your y would be 2 times negative 1 plus 3, which is, this is negative 2 plus 3, which is 1. So y is 1. So the point of intersection, these are the points of intersection. These are the points of intersection. That means when x is negative 5, y is 13. So let's check this graphically. Get a graphic calculator out and go to graph. And let's, oops, uh, let me see the equation. Okay, so yeah, in y1 you type in 2x plus 3 
and in y2 you can type in bracket x minus 1 squared minus 3. I want the point of intersection, so let me draw the first graph and see how it looks like. Yeah, I can't see the second point, so I'd need to change the scale. Change the scale from, say, minus 20 y-axis. I'm changing from minus 20 to plus 20. Scale of 2, and then draw the graph. Okay, here we go. So you go g solve and intersection. So one point is negative 1, 1, and if you press replay like this, you get the second point, 5, comma, 13. So we have checked the answer. So 5, comma, 13 and negative 1, 1. Okay, the next question is you have y is equal to y is equal to 3x minus 2 and y is equal to 2x squared minus 3. So again, the same process, you need to set them equal to find the point of intersection. So I can say 3x minus 2 is equal to 2x squared minus 3. So I'm going to make it a quadratic equation. So I'm going to take away 3x from this side and plus add plus 2 to this side. So I have to do the same thing to this side, minus 3x plus 2. So this becomes 0, this side becomes 0, this is 2x squared, 2x squared uh, minus 3x minus, minus 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So we got 2x squared minus 3x minus 1 equal to 0. Okay, so now if you graph this, you can... Uh, let's do this, uh, 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 let's try to solve this, okay? So, I want to go over the quadratic formula. So, you can't find two factors of negative 2, which gives you negative 3. So, we have to use the quadratic formula. So, the quadratic formula would be given. You should be knowing this formula, which x is minus b, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so if you don't know to factorize, or to, uh, this is a good formula to remember. Okay, so what's your a? So your a is 2, a is 2, b is negative 3, and c is negative 1. So first let us find b squared minus 4ac. That's the most important thing b squared minus 4ac is minus 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 1, okay, which is how much? So this is uh, 9, uh, 9 plus, mm, 9 plus, uh, this is 9 plus 8 is 17. Okay, so yeah, you have got square root, so b squared minus, okay, uh, this is a long process, so let's complete the process, so this is 17, 9 minus plus 8 is 17, okay, so yeah, your x is uh, minus b, so b is negative 3, so minus b would be plus, uh, sorry, b is negative 3, so negative b would be plus 3. So 3 plus or minus square root of 17 over 2 times a. 2 times 2 is 4. So the two roots, x is equal to 3 plus root 17 over 4. Or x is equal to 3 minus root 17 over 4. So this would be a very untidy number. So, but let's use the calculator, so to confirm the answer. Okay, so here go to run, uh, run menu. So this is 3 plus shift root 17 equal and then divide by 4. Okay, that is 1.78. So this is x is equal to 1.78. Okay, and uh, 
I'll go 3 minus shift root 17 equal divided by 4 which is minus 0 0.28 okay minus minus 0 0.28 so now I'm going to use my calculator of course you can put this back and get the answer but I'm going to use my calculator to confirm the y coordinate so go to graph and type in the equation which is 3x minus 2 here 3x minus 2 and here you can type in 2x squared minus 3 okay and see what the graph looks like here these are the two points let's confirm the x values only and you can so intersection fi so minus 0 0.28 can you see this minus 0 0.28 minus 2.84 okay you can do that yourself and 1.78 uh, 3.34 